Hello friends, welcome back to All and Law. Guys, this is a medical video lecture, Microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is Yersinia enterocolitica. Enterocolitica. Guys, can you concentrate on this enterocolitica, colitica, colitica? Means it affects the colon, right? So just remember about the pseudo appendicitis of this. This is a really very important clinical feature of this bacteria, okay? Um, so in a previous video, I discussed about the Yersinia pestis, okay? So today I'm going to talk about the Yersinia enterocolitica. So this is a microbiology lecture, so I will be discussing more microbiological points that are helpful for your USMLE step 1 examination. Okay guys, so let me quickly start this and please do not forget to subscribe, please do not forget to share our videos with your friends. Okay, Y E. Okay, that's the Asenia enterocolitica. So what are the features of this uh, Asenia enterocolitica, Y E? They are gram positive or gram negative, they are gram negative, okay. Are they bacilli or the coca? They are bacilli, remember. Whereas S in a pestis is a rod, okay. So they are non lactose fermenters, non lactose fermenters, okay. Very important points. And non H2S producers, okay, guys. So Gram negative bacilli, non lactose fermenters, non H2S producers. Okay, and uh, the other important point is about this bacteria is uh, they have a what you call cold growth, cold growth. Okay, and they are motile and the immotile, motile at the temperature around 25 degrees centigrade, and immotile that is a non motile non-motile at the temperature of around what you call 37 degree centigrade okay so remember 25 they are motile 37 they are non-motile okay right uh, so let's talk about this and let me move on to what you call uh, the reservoir the reservoir for this bacteria is nothing but a zoonotic zoonotic okay similar to what you call Asenia pestis. So, um, transmission, very important transmission here, the important point over here is, transmission is by unpasteurized milk and pork. Unpasteurized, okay. Milk. And pork. So this kind of disease is really very common in uh, what you call Michigan and um, some other states of USA. So for um, let's talk about the pathogenesis. The screen is full. The pathogenesis over here. The pathogenesis uh, it produces what is called enterotoxin. Enterotoxin. Endotoxin. Okay and multiplies really very fast in a cold climate okay Rem remember okay so enterocolitis is nothing but it causes Yersinia enterocolitica so it causes enterocolitis okay so it causes a febrile diarrhea this is it was a diarrhea okay and it can cause pseudo 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 appendicitis okay right so it also can cause arthritis also okay so how do you treat that and uh, sorry how do you diagnose that as I said you before that uh, stool culture is the best method and because uh, it has a what you call a cold enrichment stool culture you can do and culture okay and uh, what do you call it? it grows at uh, 25 degrees celsius and uh, 25 degrees is very well motile and uh, you can use as a cold enrichment 
because the growth is really good and cold temperature cold enrichment okay guys so these are the important points about Asenia Asenia enterocolitica thank you so much for watching this video i'm sure this video is really very helpful for you thank you so much for watching this video take care